do I think it's doable to have a part-time job in law school? Um, it depends on what year you are. So your first year, I would not recommend having a job. And actually a lot of law schools literally won't let you have a job. Um, your job is to be a law student. It is more than full-time. Um, I think it's something like ABA, ABA requires two hours of outside classwork for every one hour inside class. Um, now I'd be lying if I said I actually did that all the time, but there's many times where I spend more than that, especially when you get closer to exam period. Um, I understand there's some people in situations where they, they need a part-time job and they just have to make it work. And I don't want to discount that or say that you're doing something wrong. Um, but if you have the more common experience of a law student who is going to law school to dedicate all their time to that, um, that's what you should be focusing on. Let's see. Do you feel like studying for the LSAT made you any smarter or better equipped for law school than you may have been before studying for the LSAT? So we touched on this a little earlier, actually. Um, the LSAT tests very similar skills to the ones that you need in law school. You're never going to be asked a logic game question while you're sitting in the classroom ever. That will not happen. Um, but the same kind of neuro pathways that you're digging out while you're studying for the LSAT are the same ones that you're going to be using to analyze cases that you're reading to apply the law, um, particularly when it comes to law school exams. Um, and someone asked for my information, which I'm happy to provide in the chat in just a minute. But um, I actually run a YouTube channel and I have a video upcoming hopefully next week regarding law school exams and my experience with them. So if you're interested in more information about that, you can check that out. Uh, let's see, anything else? What was my LSAT score? I had a 169. I only took it once, mostly because I was lazy. Um, yes, I can provide my, oh, someone already put in there. Yeah, oh, that was you, Steve. <laughs> Yep, so my YouTube channel is Life as a Law Student. The actual easiest way to find it is to put all those words together with no spaces. Um, I don't have the link or anything right offhand, but I also am on Instagram um, at LAA Law Student. I'll tap that in here for you. Um, and after today, um, my link for my channel will be on my bio for my Instagram as well. Um, and I have a website with different resources that I offer, um, including an LSAT course and personal statement reviews, um, which are super enjoyable for me uh, to get to know you guys. So I'd love to see you guys over on my channel um, and to talk to you. I'm very active. I don't have too many subscribers that I can't like talk to everybody <laughs> at this point. Um, which is, you know, I love to grow, but it's also fun to have like a smaller community where I'm just like texting people all the time that are my friends all around the country and, and going to law school. So I think that's everything in the chat so far. Um, is there anything we missed, Steve, that you want us to talk about? No, I think we covered the basics, but I just want to say actually, Nicole, that I think it's great what you're doing with your YouTube channel, that you're, you're providing a voice and uh, an experience direct line to a real law student. So for all these law school applicants out there who want to know what it's like, they've been able to follow you on your journey. So I think it's pretty cool that you're doing that as a service for everyone out there. Thank you. It's so fun. And it keeps me accountable to um, knowing that anything that I do in law school is eventually probably going to make its way online because um, I, I, I'm a very like deadline oriented person. I say I'm going to upload once a week, so I have to upload once a week, so I have to think of something to talk about, which because I have no time, being in law school is, is just going to be whatever I did that day pretty much. Um, so it's fun for me and it's something that I started because I didn't really see any resources like that when I was going to law school. I had all these questions and was doing it all by myself. And I was like, man, I wish somebody would just explain to me like what I'm supposed to know, what questions I'm supposed to be asking um, because I'm confused, but I don't know what I'm confused about kind of thing. Um, and so I've, I've had a lot of positive feedback from people who are finding the admissions process much more approachable. Um, now that they've seen my videos and had direct access to me to ask questions, and I really, truly love doing it. So thank you for being so supportive along this whole journey. I remember you like commented on my very first video ever, and I was like, oh, somebody sees me. <laughs> <laughs> and now that video has something like 8,000 views, which to me is nuts because it started with 12 subscribers that were all my family and friends. 
No, it's pretty awesome. I mean, you definitely struck a chord with folks, and I think that's great. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.